Mar-a-Lago search. Officials have released parts of the affidavit filed in support of the raid, revealing a number of classified documents, including top secret files held by Trump. And intelligence officials are now assessing the national security risks. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas is tracking the case. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. Today, we're at the intelligence community is launching an urgent review to assess the potential damage of highly classified documents being stored unsecure for months at Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. This morning, as we learn new details about the FBI's unprecedented search, across Washington, calls intensifying for an assessment of damage to national security. Even Republicans reluctant to criticize the former president, not offering much defense. He should have turned over all of them. Uh, I imagine he knows that very well now. The newly released affidavit, though heavily redacted, still providing new insight. It signals that the DOJ investigation is far from over and involves a grand jury. It confirms that criminal targets have been identified and that the FBI is looking for more. This section from the affidavit leaping off the page. The FBI has Leap. not yet identified all potential criminal confederates, nor located all evidence related to its investigation. There's even worry that some of the classified documents may have been taken to locations beyond Mar-a-Lago. The newly released DOJ documents also make clear the FBI came to search Mar-a-Lago based on evidence from a significant number of civilian witnesses. Witnesses the FBI fears could face intimidation and retaliation as the probe continues. And we discovered more details about the scale and seriousness of the documents involved, some with national defense secrets and intelligence about spies and electronic eavesdropping programs. Just from boxes turned over to the National Archives last January, we learned Trump had at least 184 classified documents, with 92 labeled secret, 25 described as top secret, in excess of 700 pages. But Trump pushing back, calling it all a witch hunt. And he may get something he wants. A federal judge is suggesting she may appoint a special master to go through the seeds documents as Trump has requested. Attorneys are expected in court Thursday to debate the issue. George. Okay, Pierre, thanks very much. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Danny Abrams. So, Dan, we know the law says you can't take, you can't take documents, official government documents, home. So how do you assess the risk that President Trump will actually be indicted? Well, look, nothing in the relief. No other Amer American would ever be afforded this, by the way. Like, that's, this is not a thing. Like, Republicans have cry bullied their way out of the situation and have successfully gone to a point where, you know, they can ask for special uh privilege for their big wet daddy okay just straight up they're basically just saying like oh there's attorney client privilege in some of the fucking uh documents that you retrieved someone has looked through that already in the fbi and claimed that it was a fraction but it doesn't matter Piece of this affidavit is helpful uh, to the former president. Nothing that we have learned in the last week supports his case. And with all of that said, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be indicted. I still believe that it's more likely than not that he probably won't be indicted. I think I'm turning into one of the few people out there who seems to who seems to think that because there are just simply going to be a number of factors that go into this. It's going to include the fact that he's the former president of the United States. And some people will say, well, wait a second, why would he pop? Should I just not fucking play the video? Can you clip it? Because it doesn't sound weird to me. Like, there's a buzzing in the background, but... But it's not that bad. You probably hear it on the fucking... You probably hear it on your headphones. Possibly be treated differently than anybody like else and the answer is because when you're the president or the former president there are specific rules and procedures that apply there are certain things you're allowed to do that to include the fact that he's the former yeah i hear it i hear the buzzing i i, I am i am hearing the buzzing as well
Yeah, you guys are being bitches, to be honest. Like, if you're listening with headphones, then yeah, it sucks. It sucks for you. That other people aren't allowed to do uh, that change the equation. And of course, uh, despite the fact that everyone will say, well, we're just evaluating this on the law, there's really no such thing. Yes, there are words of the statute, but there's going to be some level of prosecutorial discretion here from Attorney General Garland. Right, and that would depend on, uh, in part, whether or not there's any evidence that the president was participating in some kind of obstruction of justice. If they just wanted to get the documents back, that would be one thing. But if there is evidence on either surveillance photo or witness from witnesses that the president was involved in obstruction, that could change this equation. It could, absolutely. And that's going to be the key question, I think, is how hard did he or somebody else uh, try to avoid having these documents turned over? And why? What exactly was happening? And I think that is going to be a, a critical question here. We don't know the answer to it. That was the most significant redaction uh, in the search warrant affidavit was all the information. Chat. It's not on my end. It's about to end anyway. Information surrounding obstruction. So we're, we're going to have to wait and see. As Pierre reported, this is still the relatively early stages of this investigation. And most importantly, I don't think we're going to hear anything about a possible indictment until after the midterm elections. So I do think there's going to be a period here of calm as they continue to investigate this quietly and behind the scenes. I, I think it's hard. The mini fridge? No, man. Shut the fuck up. It's not the mini fridge.